So we had better evaluate some of these second derivatives. So two of them I told you are zero. You can just trust me. You can go confirm those two are zero yourself. Here's one that we'll need, though, is the gradient of the divergence of a vector field, del, del dot v. So let's figure that out. Well, the gradient of the divergence we know is d v x dy plus d v y, oops, not d x, sorry, d v y d y plus d v z d z. The divergence is a scalar, just like it should be. So there we go, and uh, that's from dot taking the dot product of d d x d d y d d z and v x v y v z. So we've talked about that before. So now we've got to take the gradient of this, which basically means we take this whole thing, d d x on the i hat, the whole thing d d y on the j, and the whole thing d d z on the k. So it looks like this then del of del dot v, the whole thing will be this, d two v x d x two. plus d2 vy dy dx plus d2 vz dz dx i hat plus d2 vx dx dy plus d2 vy dy2 plus d2 vz dz dy on the j hat plus uh, d2 v x d x d z plus d2 v y d y d z plus d2 v z d z 2 k hat. Ah. So yeah, that looks that looks right. Right, so we got a couple of second derivatives, d2, dx, z, the rest are all crossed, i, j, k, it came out as a vector just like it should. Okay, so we're going to need that later. That is the gradient of the divergence.